Welcome to a lesson on triple integrals and volume using spherical coordinates. As we saw in the first video, in a spherical coordinate system, a point P in space is represented by an ordered triple rho, theta, and phi, where rho is the distance between the point and the origin, here in green. Theta is the angle counterclockwise from the pole or positive x-axis in the xy plane, here in blue and phi is the angle between the positive z-axis and the point, as we see here in red. And then we also have to be familiar with the equations used to convert between rectangular and spherical coordinates. Let's take a look at how we're gonna determine the volume of a solid using triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Just as we saw in rectangular coordinates and cylindrical coordinates, if we use the function f of x, y, z equals one for our integrand, and the limits of integration to find our solid, this triple integral will give us the volume of that solid. But remember in spherical coordinates, differential V gives us rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta, or it's also commonly expressed as d rho d theta d phi. So if the solid region of integration can be easily defined using spherical coordinates, the result is often much easier to evaluate. Let's take a look at our first example. We want to determine the volume outside x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals one, which is a sphere of radius one, and the inside x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals four, which is a sphere with radius two. So let's set this up. Our integrand is gonna be rho squared sine phi because we're using spherical coordinates. Let's use the order d rho, d phi, d theta. So rho will be the distance from the points on the inner sphere to the outer sphere. Well, this has a radius of one, this has a radius of two. So the limits of integration for rho will be from one to two. Remember, phi is the angle between the positive z-axis and the points on the surface. So that'll be from zero all the way to pi radians. And then theta, the angle of rotation from the positive x-axis will be all the way around the sphere or from zero all the way to two pi. So now we'll integrate with respect to rho first. It's gonna give us one third rho to the third sine phi. Now we'll evaluate this at the limits of integration. Let's go ahead and do that on the next page. So when rho is equal to two, we'll have eight thirds sine phi minus, and then when rho is one, we'll have one-third sine phi. Well, eight-thirds sine phi minus one-third sine phi is gonna give us seven-thirds sine phi. Integrating this back to phi, we're gonna have negative seven-thirds cosine phi. Cosine pi is gonna give us negative one. Negative one times negative seven thirds will be seven thirds minus cosine zero would be one. So we have minus a negative seven thirds. So we'll have 14 thirds. And now when we're gonna respect to theta, we'll have 14 thirds theta. So the end result is gonna be 28 pi thirds. Again, this would be the volume that is outside the small sphere, but inside the big sphere. Let's look at another one. Here we want the volume of the region outside the cone, phi equals pi over three, and inside the sphere, rho equals six cosine phi. Let's take a look at the graph of these two surfaces. Here it is. Again, we're looking for the volume of the region that's outside this cone and inside the sphere. So this yellow region down here, that's outside the blue cone. Before we start, let's take a look at our graph here. If this is the z-axis here, the cone has the equation phi equals pi over three. So the angle from here to the blue surface would be pi over three radians. So there's a little slice here that we can't see we're trying to find the volume in this region here that's inside the sphere, outside the cone. So the volume will be the triple integral. 
where differential v is rho squared sine phi. Let's go ahead and keep the order d rho, d phi, d theta. The first limits of integration are with respect to rho, and they actually gave us the equation that rho is equal to six cosine phi. So rho is gonna be from zero all the way to six cosine phi. Now for the limits of integration for phi, remember phi is the angle between the positive z-axis and the points on the surface. Well from here to here is pi over three. We want the region that's outside the cone and on the surface. So the lower limit of integration will be pi over three, and the upper limit will be pi over two all the way to the xy plane. And then for theta, we want to go all the way around the circle, so that'll be from zero to pi over two. This one was a little bit different because they gave us equations in spherical form, but we still had to interpret the results to set up this triple integral. Integrating the specs to rho, we'll have one third rho cubed sine phi. Replacing rho with six cosine phi. Well, six cubed times one third is gonna give us 72. And then we'll have cosine cubed phi. Then we still have our sine phi. And then when rho is zero, this will all be zero. And now we need to integrate this with respect to phi. So let's do that on the next page. This is gonna require u substitution. Let's go ahead and let u equal cosine phi. So differential u is gonna be equal to negative sine phi d phi. So let's rewrite this in terms of u. This will be u to the third sine phi d phi is gonna give us a negative du. So the result will be negative 72 u to the fourth over four, one fourth u to the fourth, that's gonna be cosine to the fourth phi. This is gonna be negative 18. So when phi is equal to pi over two, cosine pi over two is zero, so we'll have zero minus, and then cosine pi over three is equal to one half, so we'll have one half to the fourth. One half to the fourth power is gonna give us one sixteenth. So negative 18 times negative one sixteenth, that's gonna give us positive 18 sixteenths or nine eighths. And now integrating with respect to theta, we'll have nine eighths theta. So we'll have 18 pi over eight which gives us nine pi over four, for, again, for the volume that's outside the cone and inside the cylinder in this region here. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you found these examples helpful. Thank you for watching.